Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 500. We've made it. We've made it to the five zero zeros. Woo! I got no idea what to say. I'm just... Wow. Okay, there's a few things I can say. One of the few things is if the podcast came out on a weekly basis consistently, we, have re- we, we would have reached 500 a long time ago. But like I mentioned to you guys before, reporting on one news and posting out an episode would be kind of cheap. So we take what we can. So yeah, 500. Wow. Oh man. To be honest, like this should have been its own thing. I got news. Surprisingly, yes, I got news. Um, but you know what? I'm gonna hold the news for a bit because this is episode 500, and I think I want to talk about <coughs> where it start and where we are now. Wow. Just remembering on the days where I had an idea. Talk to some friends and said, hey, let's do a silly Brody podcast. It'll be fun. Yeah. And it kind of was interesting. Um, Same kind of format, same flow, more restrictive, more rigid. And we, we, we follow the same thing. Um, report on news, interview guests and whatnot. And it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Then I got ambitious. I remember episode 20, was it? Yeah, I think 20 or something like that. Where I got somebody huge from the Brony community. And he's kind of uber popular now. Like, he's all over the place. And that was uh, Tombstone, the living Tombstone. Then, as that goes on, we got more and more and more well I got more ambitious we, we got people coming in and out and stuff like uh, it was very entertaining and yeah um, a lot of people came and went a lot of guests we talked to made a lot of friends and so on and yeah um, I just kept going we had a few people came in and whatnot and um Later on, we started a new program, the Review and Discussion Podcast, which is kind of popular. I mean, if I were to put that on its own merits, probably that would have gotten more followers from this one. I I don't know. Probably, yes, probably no, uh, because the idea for it was to remove the reviews from the normal podcast and put it on its own so that it didn't really bother with the flow of the um, news show. Uh, The news show was kind of its own thing where um, we talk about the news, we discuss on the news and then we move on. Uh, If we have a guest, we talk to the guest and so on too. Um, Having a review on top of that kind of clutters the uh, mixture. Like we had this thing that we need to talk about and then we, we need to also think of the news and whatnot. So, yeah, we move on to its own uh, programming. And we kind of made it work. Um, technically, it's under the uh, pod, uh, sorry, uh, the YouTube channel, uh, the MBS show, un- under its own umbrella. But um, if you take a look, see at the uh, playlist, it, is, it has its own thing and it's way a lot so we had a lot of reviews in there from the comics to the episodes to the specials to the movies and whatnot and then uh, we expand to other things from gaming to comics animes cartoons and so on and it was it, it was fun like it is still fun by the way we we did a lot of fun things and so on. And now we're here, uh, 2022, and we recently uploaded a gameplay video of me playing 
Guild Wars 2 with Jacob. So that one, I, I got no idea how that's faring. Um, looking at the stats, it feels like it's pretty okay. And <clears throat> it's doing its own thing, I, I guess. But um, who knows? It, it's kind of a thing where maybe we should try other games instead. Like see maybe... Um, hmm, I, I'm not sure. Like, pony games, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. The, the more I think about it right now, the more kind of selective with the games I need to be for the MBS show channel. Because um, I clearly can't play anything that's like uh, Left 4 Dead or Call of Duty or even Overwatch and whatnot. Like, those kind of games are <clears throat> animated violence, as they say. So, yeah, probably with this one, or with the whole gaming thing, I'll probably shift it to my personal channel where um, it's me doing the stuff that I like and so on. So there's no real big deal of kind of um, watering down the things that I can play for this channel. It's an idea. I'm just thinking of it and I'm just putting it out there and see. Um, I'm just putting out the feelers and see how it goes. So, that's, yeah, mm. so I'm guessing most of you are wondering, what about 501, where, where is the future going for this? Honestly speaking, it's been the same formula from day one and so on, so I, I think that works, but with the amount of news coverage that I want to talk about and so on, it's a bit lacking in that department. I'll try and see what I can do. Usually, the minimum of news I want to cover for you guys is three. So we might do whenever I can get... Well, whenever I can compile three news that's worthy to talk about, I'll do so. But I'm thinking like, yeah, we, we should just go on a more relaxing pace. Um, if <coughs> I can get the interviews and so on, I'll do so, but with how things are now for me personally, uh, in my personal life, things are a bit busy right now. So, like right now, I'm recording on the afternoon. Usually when I do this way back when, it was at night. <clears throat> but yeah, it's it's one of those things where things are a bit cluttered, busy. So yeah, um, can't say much. Can't say much. Uh, the shows, shows been changing a lot. Shows been changing a lot. <clears throat> so anyway, um, let's move on to the first news. I know, uh, I've talked about my things for a while now. So yeah, let's move on. Yes, new possible name reveal for Dark Alicorn in Make Your Mark. An iTunes preview for the upcoming My Little Pony, Meet the Pony of Maritime Bay book has a preview image including a map of the current Equestria world. One specific spot on it is called, uh, sorry, uh, it's a castle that seems to name that new alicorn saw in the end of Make Your Mark. Opaline's, uh, sorry, uh, oh. Uh, Opaline's castle, Dark Castle, sits north of Maritime Bay, and most poor people are speculating this that this is likely the home of our newest horse villain. Uh, get more pages below. The book released on 13 September, so we have a bit to go before we find out. Right, uh, the Earth Pony, or the blah 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 blah, sunny friends, blah blah blah. So, yeah, basically, this is one of those kids' books, blah blah blah. But this one, <coughs> this one is fascinating. So, mm, <coughs> 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 
we got no idea where Cantalot is. So this is Bridal Wood. This is Sephir Heights. Uh, Maritime Bay. Castle. So it's... Mm, I, I, I don't know how to say this. It's very fascinating. But the, the castle... Where is it? Where where in Equestria is that? <coughs> we need to take a look see at the map from afar because right now we don't really know where everything is. Um Maritime Bay most of the most of the maps here are new and somebody could tell me that probably this is what thousand years to the future 500 so yeah um that is kind of a cool revelation and i can't wait to see what happens next so anyway let's move on to the next news next news is them fighting herds console trailer release yep 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 yep, yep, yep. <laughs> if you missed the announcement a while back them fighting herds is Hitting two consoles, they've dropped a trailer today for their big transition along with a release date of October 18. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so guys, um, one of the few reasons why this is talked here is because, well, uh, it's Wing 6. They were the guys that did the game um, Friendship is um, Fighting is Magic. Yes, they did Fighting is Magic. Where is the main six in a fighting game? And the game was pretty cool. The game was awesome. And the love and attention that it got, like for characters, um, for how characters played and whatnot, it was awesome. Until they got a cease and desist from Hasbro. And not wanting to kind of drop the whole thing because they develop a lot like the um, move list the animations the whatever and whatnot even the music done by uh, RC88 I think Rainbow Crash 88 something like that he, um, the, the, the person is a very talented musician go check his YouTube page out if it's still there that's another topic for another day <clears throat> but anywho um, then fighting hurts is a game made by the fandom and turned into its own thing. Um, Lauren Faust, the creator, well, the I won't say creator, but uh, one of the um, people behind Friendship is Magic said that, "Yo, that sucks. Here, let me help you from here. Let me help you with some designs. Plop, we got this." And um, Tara Strong, friends with Lauren, said, you know what, I'm going to pay me so I can voice a character. And she voices Arizona. So, yay. Um, as time goes on, uh, they had a Kickstarter, blew past that, and the game went out on PC and so on. I played it on PC, I enjoyed it. Uh, but the PC release was kind of, incremental and slow so I haven't touched it in a while now but now it's coming to consoles for everyone to play um, I got no idea if it's cross-platform or not but still man that's awesome now you can play it on your PlayStation Xbox and Switch yay much fun uh, most of the characters here are basically the main six but um, tweak tweak a bit and also move lists are changed a lot from what they were originally was or were a um, few things i can tell you is that paprika the llama on the far left is pinkie pie arizona is just applejack with the lasso and so on uh op 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 lesson something like that is just Twilight, um, <clears throat> the deer, oh, I forgot her name, it's just Rarity, 
the lamb or sheep here is just uh, Fluttershy and Tau something. Here is just Rainbow Dash flying except with more fires and whatnot. Technically here is a Kirin, but um, Pony World Kirins are different. So this is going for more of the traditional Chinese Kirin? I don't know. But yeah, game is fun. If you guys have one of those consoles I mentioned, go check it out. It's really awesome. And a follow-up to that is, yay! Um, there's a new character coming and his name is Texas. He's a bull. Yeah, yeah. New bull character announced for them fighting swords. Uh, the team over at Main 6 has announced a brand new character heading for them fighting herds, introducing Texas, a huge bill, bill, oh goodness, bill and the first male character cast. <laughs> mm, yep, looking at the keyboard, the I and you are pretty close. <coughs> And right, the Seth. Yes, Seth has been known to did a lot of, or I noticed that Seth has a lot of spelling mistakes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I too have spelling mistakes, and I don't blame him. But anywho, um, a huge bull and the first male character of the fighting game. He is the. He is there. Hmm. He is part of their plan release for four new characters introduced in the season pass with the final two launching in 2023 so yeah um i've seen texas gameplay and he is cool um similar to how arizona plays uh, texas here plays similar but different he's more of a powerhouse grappler kind of character from what i can tell uh, using those bells as uh, lessos and so on, almost like Arizona and whatnot. But I believe he's grappler. Um, haven't really played the game in a while, so I got no idea. But the season pass, yeah, I, I'll probably chip in and uh, get the season pass for those four characters. We oh, um, we also got Shanti, who was a goat. Um, I got no idea how Shanti plays like because I haven't really messed around with her. But yeah, um, that's them fighting her. So let's move on to the last one and <clears throat> more Black Griffin and uh, Basic, ba 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 Basic, yeah, Basic at America's Got Talent. <clears throat> After their successful debut on America's Got Talent, Bronies, Black Griffin, and Basic have appeared once again with another super unique X starring loads of impressions and of course the usual top tier music if you have no idea who these guys are they were some of the most influential music musician in the brony fandom over the years producing many of our fandom classics this uh, they still hit up pony conventions to play live for everyone hit down below and check yep <coughs> So, um, it has occurred to me that not many people know who they are, which is kind of strange, because everybody knows who Black Griffin is. And when I really think about it, no, no, the fandoms changed a lot. <sighs> Memories. So anyway, um, let's kind of break down who they are, or yeah, I mean, um, they kind of introduced themselves in the first act of AGT, where they say they were uh, marine navy vets, navy veterans, and so on, <clears throat> and a lot of stuff that they talk about. Yeah, I'm not going to repeat it because it's not my story to tell. But one of the few things that um, we they, they don't really tell the public is that they're super famous in certain circles with the pony fandom. And here's one of the few things. Um, 
Black Griffin or Gabriel Brown or Gabe for short uh, also voices voices a few characters. Um, one of my favorite ones to tell people is that he voices the seagull in Finding Dory, the one that's a bit special. Yes, he he did that. Also, um, he also voices Alistair from Has Been Hotel. So yeah, he got range. <clears throat> And you can really tell by his act, with the way that he, um, what's his call, mimic, uh, mimic's one thing, but, uh, impressions, the, the impressions that he does of other celebrities, especially Simon, like, that slayed me. And, yeah, his performance and whatnot is awesome. And with his brother, um, Nathan, Nate? They, they do, they are a powerful duo. And if you want to hear some of his um, vocals and whatnot, um, if I'm not mistaken, he was the one responsible for the song uh, Proud to be a Brony? I think so, that's him, yeah. I, I, I think so, that is him. So yeah, that is what he did way back when. And like Seth mentioned here, um, most influential musician in the Brony fandom over the years. Yep, he did a lot of songs and he was responsible for all of them and they were great, man. And, <clears throat> like I mentioned before, my heart just got destroyed and all of my Brony musics are gone. So, uh, sad for me. I, no backup. Had to. Now I have to look for them one by one. And the music fandom from where it was till now has changed a lot. A lot. Yep. <clears throat> but anywho. Um, sorry, I'm just feeling sad right now. Feeling mellow. And yeah, that's the news for this week. Um, let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing in my week? Oh wow, sorry guys, um, I am feeling very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Nostalgic. Just thinking about where I am and where the fandom has been and it's a lot, it's a lot to process in. Um, just thinking about that just makes me feel mellow or nostalgic i think nostalgic is a word but yeah um it's been making me feeling nostalgic and so on so just looking at some of the people i interview and whatnot where they are what they're doing it has it makes me feel nice oh boy <clears throat> okay um on to my week so my week has been pretty okay. Um, I, I haven't been doing much really. Um, work, work. There's the D and D that I play, and also the Magic the Gathering. And I think, oh man, is there anything I want to show you guys? Yeah. Um, no, I, I, I don't have any much. So anywho, um, yeah. Besides all of that, things have been going slowly and mellow. Mm, nothing really new to report in terms of what new games I've been playing. Technically, what I've been playing is Borderlands 2. I know it's a 10 year old game, it came out in 2012. But I just wanted to play a looter shooter. Didn't want to buy any new ones, so just re downloaded the one that I have. And just played it. It was it's fun. It's fun. And yeah, that's about it. Nothing new really. Ah man. I I should really try something new, think of something new, but man, it's been <clears throat> tiring. I'm I'm a bit tired to work and whatnot. Mm. Anyway, um let's wrap things up. 
If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themvstreamer.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter, so show Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, also, please subscribe and with us on iTunes, YouTube, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also Stitch Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also get us on www.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you can catch me, Silver Quill, Stotera Jacob, and you know, whoever wants to come. Hmm. Uh, reviewing pony episodes, comics, specials, movies. Uh, sometimes we like to do other things than movies. Those can be cartoons, animes, comic manga, uh, movies, video games, and many more. Um, <clears throat> if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast. I- uh, exclusive and deleted content yes and a huge thank you from me talking about thank yous I would like to thank you Jacob Lucky Knight Jeffrey Master of Lag and also Tristan thank you so much guys you have been great so anyway I have been Norman Sanzo and I'll catch you next week with another fun episode of the Mias Show see ya